Using this very tool, you can create step-by-step -step guides like the one you're looking at right now. Screen by screen with annotations, boxes, highlights, even a description which you don't need to write a single word. It goes on all the way to the end of whatever process you are wanting to explain. On top of the screen by screen guide that it produces, it also will provide a video version of the guide. So this is the example, how to create an Instagram carousel in Canva and then it will run through the process as you can see so that your viewer will not only be able to read through your guide but also watch your guide and the best part about all this is that AI will be able to create all this for you so that you don't have to write a single word or edit any videos. Let me show you how. You may be wanting to create guides for step-by-step -step tutorials. It could be for your knowledge base or help desk for your customers. It could be a new announcement about your latest products and services to your customers and subscribers. You may also be wanting to create guides so that you can onboard new customers, walking them through your product or service or even employee training. Whatever reason it may be, the tool that can do all this for you is a tool called Guide with a double D. You can magically create stunning SOPs, standard operating procedures, training material, onboarding docs as mentioned, FAQs, feature notes, how-to guides. Guide is really easy to use. I'll show you how in this step-by-step -step tutorial, but essentially it's a Chrome extension that you install on your browser. I'm not sure if it's going to be compatible for other browsers in the future, perhaps they will. So go ahead, click on get free extension. That'll take you to the Chrome web store and then install the extension. Once it's installed, make sure to pin it to your address toolbar right here. If you don't see it, click on the extensions icon and then look for guide and click on the pin icon. There are a couple of ways to start a new project and start capturing your step-by-step -step guide. First is when you log into your guide account, you can see capture how-to video and then this little window will pop up and you can click on capture. The other way of course is through the extension that you just installed. So if you click on guide and then click on capture, that will start it. To give you a bit of context on how guide works, essentially you would click on capture and then once you hit that capture button, it'll start recording all your keystrokes, even anything you type, your mouse, where it goes, where it's clicking, and even the windows that you're going through. The old and manual way of doing such a thing was to capture every single window individually, annotate and then highlight things and put in text, putting that into Word or Google Docs. But with Guide, it does it all for you. And after we capture our first kind of guide, you'll see why and how. Let's now go ahead and capture our first guide. I'll use the extension in this demo. This will pop up where it says Magic Capture. Let Guide help you generate how-to videos and documents in seconds. So what are you capturing? Choose one that's closest to what you're creating. Let's say product how-tos is what I'm creating. And in this demo, what I'm going to do is create a new Instagram carousel in Canva. But the next step is to describe your how-to. The better you can describe what you want to capture, the higher quality content guide will help produce. And this will help feed the AI in terms of the text and some of the descriptions. I've gone ahead and described it as how to create an Instagram carousel in Canva. I'll click on go. And now we're starting, we're not really having to talk or speak. What you'll notice, first of all, is the little G uh, guide icon on the left corner right there. There are a few controls here. What you can do is click on done. So that means you will completely end your process. Let's say you start and then you end that process. You click on done once you're done. Clicking on pause pauses and halts any keystrokes and any clicks on your windows. With add screenshot, you're able to add a screenshot in between a process. Restarting restarts the entire thing while delete simply means delete. What you'll do at this point is to make sure you open the right window to start your process. As a side note, Guide is currently only compatible on Google Chrome as mentioned and specifically on a browser. So if you're trying to record a guide or process outside of your browser, like on your desktop or other applications installed on your computer, it currently does not work, but that is their long-term goal. Let's now begin and start the process and create our guide. The first thing I'm going to do is search up for Instagram carousel. So that's actually the first step I'll click. And as I click, you'll notice that there's a little one icon right there. This means that this is the first step. The next step is to actually type out 
what I want. So in this case, Instagram uh, carousel. Now taking a look, we can see there are two processes, two steps. The third step is to select what we want, which is an Instagram uh, carousel. So I'll click once and now you'll see three steps. Next step, let's just select this first one in this demo and click on customize this template. Let's just run through some of these things that you would normally do, how to boost or how to increase. So just run through your process as you normally would. Let's just say we wanna create a new or duplicate this page or more so the title. So we've got two and that's part of the process. Let's save this or keep it short because there's 11 processes at the moment. Click on share and download and finally click on download. Okay, all up we've got 14 steps and let's say we are done. Now it's taking me to my guide account where it's processing and rendering not only the video, but also the steps in the screenshot format. And now AI has come up with a kind of description of what this tutorial guide is about to learn how to create an Instagram carousel uh, in Canva with these easy steps. It's come up with the title as well as a short description to elaborate on the step. So now we'll go through some of the options that we have here for the screenshots below and then we'll run through the video okay so first thing you can do is to add a step before pre or you could do it after wherever you see fit so if there's something missing that guide forgot or didn't quite record then you can add something to there or let's say you forgot to add or talk about a certain thing as part of the process you can always add it later on anyway you can edit the title and description by clicking on the edit icon changing the step title as you can see right Right here I'll go back and also the description visually what you can do is crop a specific screenshot perhaps you want to crop to that exact area so let's go ahead and do that that will take you to this image editor and let's crop and move it right here we can also zoom it in making it bigger and then I'll click on confirm do also note when you update the title and description it will also update to the video too. So at this point, feel free to go through your process, every single screenshot, title, description, seeing if there's anything missing or you could improve on something. Taking a look below the last and final step, you'll see this guide covered the steps to create an Instagram carousel in Canva, including searching for content, selecting a template, customizing the design and downloading the final results. So it's using AI based on all these screenshots and the description that you entered when you started capturing your guide. Let's now talk about how to edit your guide video. At the top, you'll see edit video, click on edit video. That'll take you to the kind of video editor mode. Your browser will ask whether you want to give permission to guide for accessing your microphone. Now this plays a role if you do want to record, let's say a voiceover. So you can have that ability. So in addition to your video presentation, you can add your own voice. And I believe on their pay plan, you can use its AI text to voice where it simply converts that text into realistic sounding voice. All right, on the bottom, you'll see this timeline looking area where you can edit the number of seconds first of all so if i zoom in you'll see this frame the title will stay and the duration will be two seconds while on this one three seconds so you can adjust it accordingly if you click the little more icon and then click on set timing you can do it that way or you can apply it to all the steps so if you want all of the slides or the screenshots to remain at two seconds each then you can do that you can insert several elements such as text shape image an overlay or an action to your frame there's also the ability to change the background of your title and other frames too there's another way to add a voiceover for the particular frame by clicking voiceover here if you want to add a step through this mode you can by clicking on add step and then select title step or an image step let's say an image step you click that once you drag and drop the specific screenshot that you want and then you can add annotations and things like that, like text and shapes. You can go back to the previous mode by clicking on switch to view, or you can click on back and then they'll take you back here. Some additional options right here is you can share, selecting between sharing your video public or restricted to certain members. If you do wanna share it publicly, click on copy link. You can also use smart copy where you can copy to any product that supports HTML. The export option allows you to download the video or you can download a PDF version of your guide however you do need to upgrade to one of its paid plans and speaking of pricing and plans i'll run through that now 
Right, starting with the first plan, which is free. You can sign up for free, use its features, but up to 25 how-to videos. You can record a voiceover to share your links, add interactive actions, and there's a library of stock music. However, on the free plan, your guides will have that guide branding and watermark throughout. So you can see right here with guide. On the pro plan, the biggest benefit I see is that you're able to export the videos and remove guide watermarks. This is based on build annually, but taking a look at monthly, you're looking at $20 per user per month. All your saved guides will be in your homepage. So if you go back to your homepage, you will see all the guides that you've created. Otherwise you can go to my guides and it'll also be there. What they also feature is insights and analytics. So you can dive deep into a particular guide to see which one's got the most views and actions and things like that. And that's how you can quickly and easily create step-by-step -step guides without having to spend hours screenshotting and typing away. So all this using the power of AI and of course guide. Thanks so much for watching and if it was helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next, one here and one there. I'll see you there.